let's take, a, let's take a look at another one of our new structures for this chapter. So, minasan, let's look at this scenario. So, one of our classmates isn't in today. He hasn't shown up. I don't know why, but I can make a guess. Byoki kamo shiremasen. Or, I step outside from my house. I take a look and it's getting really cloudy out. There's a lot of dark clouds gathering. So I might think, Ame ga furu kamo shiremasen. So he might be sick. It might rain. This kamo shiremasen is our way of talking about what might be true. So we use kamo shiremasen. Or in the short form, so this shiremasen, this is a verb, right? So the short form, anything with masen will change to nai. So in the short form, if we say this in the short form, it's kamo shirenai. In slang, like in even more casual speech, we can even just shorten it to kamo. Um, but in our homework and on the test right now, we're going to concentrate on the long form. So we're going to use kamo shiremasen. To talk about guessing a possibility. So, kamo shiremasen, it's always shiremasen or shirenai. It's always a negative ending. So, we can't say like kamo shiremas or kamo shireru. We can't say that in Japanese. It just doesn't make sense. So, kamo shiremasen, kamo shirenai. It's just a set phrase that's always like that. And it means something may be this. Something might be this. Perhaps something is this. So we use it when we're making a guess about what possibilities might be true. So when we make a sentence with kamo shiremasen, we can use the short form of any word plus kamo shiremasen. So it's very simple to make. Um, for present affirmative nouns and not adjectives, we say this kamo shiremasen without da. So it's just genki kamo shiremasen or gakuse kamo shiremasen, migiaka kamo shiremasen, nihonjin kamo shiremasen. We don't have to put in the da. So let's look at some examples. Ogawa san wa kyo yasumi kamo shiremasen. So maybe it might be that Ogawa-san is absent today. Sensei wa ryori ga jōzu kamo shiremasen. So sensei might be good at cooking. Hanataba yori nuigurumi no hō ga ii kamo shiremasen. So a, um, a bouquet might be better than a stuffed animal. So this kamo shiremasen marks what might be true. Let's look at some examples. So I'm thinking about buying this tie. I'm thinking about the person I'm buying it for. Hmm. Suki ja nai kamo shiremasen. He might not like it. Niawa nai kamo shiremasen. It might not look good on him. We are waiting for the bus, but it doesn't seem to be coming. It's really late. What should we do? We might be late for class. Our fish is gone. Where did he go? Sakana ga inai! Ah, neko ga tabeta kamo shirenai. So these are all structures where we can use kamo shirenai. Let's try to make some sentences. So we take a look, we see there's this lake. We're out fishing. We see the surface of the lake. Something is moving. What do we think? Sakana kamo shiremasen. Sakana kamo shiremasen. I'm getting ready for my friends to come over. 
and I hear the doorbell ping pong. Oh, type this one first. Um, I'm getting, I'm looking for clothes to get for my friend, but they might be too small. I'm waiting for my friends to come over. I hear the doorbell. Tomodachi ga kita kamoshiremasen. So, putting together the short form with this kamoshiremasen is my way to show that something might happen. 